All right, guys. So I think we need to figure out a way that we can make uh, Butch Bros more profitable. You know, right now we're just selling straight cuts of meat, but uh, what's something we can do so we can, you know, increase our profits? Uh, we can take this. We can start taking the meat and start seasoning it and sautéing it, and then selling it for more profit that way. We can do that. I like that idea. Basically, we can process it further and then sell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cutting meat, just cutting meat is getting more boring, so mm -hmm. you might want to put a little flavor in our, in our business yeah. and uh, grow our brand. Right, and then we can, in turn, process it further, and then we'll sell our processed meat for a higher, uh, mm -hmm. higher revenue. And then yeah, we'll so, make a you know, we started, profit. Yeah, we started off, we'll probably take a, uh, take a, a chunk of, of, uh, of, of revenue, uh, of like, for example, Sixty thousand dollars worth of revenue for um, for the ribeyes, and then forty thousand dollars worth of revenue for our uh, pork chops and seeds is actually worth uh, getting a shot. I mean, I think it's yeah, it's a pretty good idea. So I like that. Yeah, we could set up a meeting. What do you think? Set up a meeting with uh, Fonte, our boss. Yeah, um, we could set up a meeting with him like tomorrow, and then kind of break down the math and see what we think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what's what's the whole process that we need to do to make sure that we cover our whole basis well basically uh, we have to decide if if we're gonna if we're gonna um if we're gonna just sell them raw like, like how we've been selling them and we're gonna find out the difference in in uh profit we have to find out a difference in profit we have to find out if it's worth actually putting meats into processing we have to find out how much is it going to cost to put this type of meat in the process and how much is it going to cost to put this type of meat in the process i want to make sure that i am getting you so what you are saying is that when we will process it further there will be added cost and everything so we have to keep it in mind and we have to see if we will make revenue if if we process it further and then sell it yes because we want to see our our change in, in revenue which is our incremental revenue and our change and our change in, in cost which is our incremental cost so we can get our incremental profit and, and see uh, if that will funnel uh, some more money into our brand and for growth. Cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. that sounds good. Yeah, so, that sounds good. So let's meet with the boss tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll we'll have a message to uh, break it down. To Got it. All right. Hey, boss, we called this meeting today because here at Butch Brothers Butchery, uh, we are tired of just cutting meat. Uh, we'd like to do more. We'd like to put our uh, artistic chef minds to the test and we'd like to try to make a profit in the restaurant industry by uh, processing our meats further some of our meats further um, if it's within our cost margins Miles gonna open it up with the um with the seller process further so first we will look at the revive steaks the revenue we are earning right now from sale is sixty thousand if we process it, process it further and we sell it, our revenue, it will be 100000 And our processing cost, the additional cost, it will be 13000 We get about 60000 in revenue before processing. Yeah, I mean, and if we process further, we get about a hundred thousand, as Amon said. Our difference, uh, our incremental revenue, would be uh, about forty thousand dollars. And um, well, we broke down the cost, the additional cost to process the to, to before we process it is zero because we haven't. All those uh, costs before we get to that are, are fixed. Uh, once we process it further, the cost of that will be about thirteen thousand, and our incremental value for that will be thirteen thousand, and uh, our profit. Well, once we once we break it down, we come here. We don't have any costs, so we'll be remaining six. Uh, and to process further. Will be eighty-seven, which is our net. So our change in profit will go up twenty-seven 
$50,000, and that's definitely worth it if you want to start processing robots. No Mr. Bonte. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, so what about the pork chops? What are those numbers looking like? Well, with our pork chops, uh, our initial sales revenue that we've had uh, is $40,000. And then if we process it further, we've calculated that we can bump up our revenues to $50,000. And then the additional cost uh, to process further is gonna be $12,000. Selling the pork chops would bring in uh, $40,000 in revenue. And then if we were to process it further, we would bring in $50,000. And the differential, the difference in incremental revenue there would be uh, $10,000. And then since we have no costs selling it, it would just be zero. And then processing it further, it would be $12,000. So the difference is still $12,000. Um, our profit from selling it would be $40,000. If we were to process it further, the profit we would bring in is $38,000. And since we went $2,000, uh, and decreased by $2,000, we would have a uh, loss in $2,000. All right, you guys, so based off of these numbers, I think it'll pretty be a good idea to go with the ribeye processing further because we're, gonna, we're making a profit. So if we sell those process further, they will be a profit of 27000 but if we sell the pork chops, then we're going to be losing money. So let's go with the ribeye. Good work, you guys. Thank you.